So Grant does it again. <laughs> Mike is going to have the find of the day, unless we do better. Mike has found a trilobite. Another one. And now he has a nice matching pair. Oh uh, my God. Welcome fossil hunters to fossil hunting and collecting with Chris. We are on the road again. We are traveling up in beautiful central New York. The autumn air has started to turn the leaves. So we're going to get a lot of nice, beautiful colors, a lot of great scenery and a lot of great fossils because we're already familiar with the Hamilton group. This Hamilton group, I'll be posting up a stratigraphic column a little bit later in this video, if I can find a nice one to show you, but this, Hamilton Group is loaded with really well-preserved Devonian fossils and quite abundant too. So we're on a group field trip with the New York Paleontological Society. It will probably be lots of fun. We have lots of people in the group and we have two or three good sites that we are going to be looking at. They are private property. We have permission to be here and we are going to see what we can find. I will bring you in for the adventure and any good finds that we have. All right, welcome to Fossil Hunting and Collecting with Chris. We are looking at some Devonian fossils. Hopefully we will find some nice Devonian fossils in these rocks. The rock is uh, upstate New York, about 400 million years old, three, somewhere 380 to 400, somewhere in that range. And we are collecting the whole range of stuff that can be found in the ocean. This is a New York Paleontological Society field trip. This is the first stop. We're going to hit two or three and check out the fossils. Our group leader today is Patrick. Patrick uh, will be showing us this in some other sites. And as we make finds today, we'll have people who would like to show us the finds and I'll show you anything that I might find here today as well. Right. Okay, so Grant has found a nice little cephalopod. Oh yeah, it's a uh, Mixed in with a lot of other nice things, having mucus burifer, a bunch of other small brachiopods, and nice trilobite shirt, by the way. Mm -hmm. So you might remember Grant from all our other trips to uh, Pendixie, and thank you so much for showing us that. Thank you. You are. You see that? that you see that? By the way? Give me that. I might see it when I get my glasses on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> get to that age. Oh, that is true. Is there any stuff growing on it? Yes. That could be a little spot. Some of them have spines to protect them. Oh, maybe that. No, that, I don't I think it's think that. So. I think that's something. Well, there's only something growing on it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is very interesting. Don't know what it is, yeah. but <laughs> but it's interesting. But it's a shell. You can, you can see, you can see. Oh, it's definitely a shell, yeah. Yeah, you can see what's growing on it. Isn't that neat? Isn't it that certainly neat? is. What else did you find? Found this guy. You can see the two hands oh, on the shell. Oh, yes. Nice articulated bivalve. Got that? Yep. And then she found, I have to say she found, but I don't want to get yelled at. <laughs> That's right. It's nice Credit where credit's due. Oh, look at that. That, um, hmm. That looks so... It's definitely a bivalve, but it yeah. looks a lot more like a mussel shape. Yeah, I know. It's also got both valves, too, because it's on the other side. Oh, nice. Yeah, you got both parts. Be able to yeah. carefully pop that out when you get home. I yeah. something Yes, yes, you sure did. <laughs> and besides those, here's a big one. He's sitting right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a whole bunch of things going on on this. Yeah. Okay. Oh! Ah, well, thank you, thank you very much, Fred and Beverly, for showing us this. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, Chris. <laughs> Something's all pulled apart like this, like they dug this all out. And you might as well look, because they did the work for us. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice little trilobite.
Well, Greg has another find. Greg, can you turn that over? Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's prepped. Thank you for showing us that. So, on top of this hill, it was spoils that they pulled out for us. And that's a really good thing what it does because all the work of ripping it out of the wall has been done for us. And you never know what you'll find. Here's just a nice piece with a bunch of those macroplora. A bunch of those things that uh, have very wide ends. They kind of almost look like butterflies the way they stick out. On both halves of it, on these two pieces of rock, a bunch of them together. I kind of like it, so I'm going to actually take this piece home. Oh, okay, so... What do, you, what do you have? There we go, glasses on. Oh, look at that! Is he big? Yeah, that's, a, that's a, it looks like a big macroplora. Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. Good find. I just found a, uh, yeah, just a nice on. cluster of, uh, mucus furfurs. And then oh, a yeah. cephalopod as I was bringing it down the hill. Oh. So, nice, right? Yeah. So we almost always see some wildlife. This time we have a giant millipede running away. I don't blame it. No, I'm sorry, centipede, giant centipede. So I have another big rock here. I'm gonna do a uh, not the middle method. <laughs> This looks like, is this some type of shell material, do you think? Not there. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like an impression. Do you think it's just a, is it just a watermark or is this actually from a creature? Could be a shell that just completely decomposed or? It looks like it was a little bit of random cracks. Or possibly placoderm, yeah. maybe? <laughs> that might be hoping for too much. <laughs> <laughs> that is a useless project. So, Fred's showing me a, a really nice fossil, so Beverly must have found it. <laughs> but it is a, it looks like it is a coral, and the name's escaping me right now, but it's the hexagonal corals. You can see those little hexagons, little colonial corals. And uh, I think originally we thought it was a beehive, but not a beehive, <laughs> but it is something that stings. It is coral. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> So I just split this rock over here. I like these little gastropods, so I'm going to uh, take it home. Upon closer look, here is a little, at least the tail, the pygidium of a green ox. One of those trilobites. Oh, okay. Nice bunch of fossils. Yeah, I think it's probably macroplora. Uh, this one I just picked up. Hmm. Mm. Oh, it's uh, it begins with O. Oh, ortho something. It's a. Um, it's been long, yeah. A prehistoric razor clam. Oh, neat. I forget the name of it though. Uh, trail a bit. A piece there in the negative and positive. Nice, nice. And there's another one. I don't know. I find these sort of look like acorns. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if you don't mind, keep those in the light. Oh, sorry. Yes. Huh. Do you know what they are? I do if I went home and looked it up. Looked it up, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I have found them in deep springs all the time. Oh, here's the other trail of it. Oh, yeah. It's like a green ops, maybe? Kind of. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing that. Oh, you're welcome. Nice little bike. Oh, nice. There. Yeah. Uh, found a bunch of uh, green ops tails. Yeah. Actually, it's funny. Then I looked down. I found immediately another uh, trilobite head. Oh, but awesome. I don't think I'm going to take that one home though. Yeah, a nice articulated uh, yeah. bivalve there. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that that was a very nice find. This. Mostly whole piece. And other than that, just a bunch of nice little shells and uh, a nice brachiopod. So, yeah, it's not bad. Ah, nice move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Joe. Thank you very much for oh, showing up. Absolutely. Showing thank the you. fossils. <laughs> nice. Got a lot of little brachiopods on yeah. it. I found a thing. Oh, what kind of thing? A thing that I need to take my goggles off for. 
So oh, could you hold in the sunlight side? Yeah. yeah. So there was Ooh. a middle piece. Um, it flew out of my hand as I was standing up. So these two fit together and yes. Huh. I wonder if that's part of a placoderm. A placoderm? It could be. Uh, I think it was like it was like cone shaped. Oh, it was cone shaped? Mm-hmm. Huh. It was like kind of curved on the top, flat on the bottom. Oh. Okay. It may be some type of gastropod, but hmm. Hmm. interesting. Just said it flew out of my hand. So Grant does it again. <laughs> Another really nice uh, flora head. It looks like there's oh yeah. Oh, wow. you see those two uh, flora in, in the back there? And these two rings here, rings here. Mm -hmm. It's possible the rest of that guy might be in the rock. Oh, like a more, roller. Might be a roller. Ooh, cool. And also, I have this. What is it? It's a button. Ah! <laughs> it's just, I know it's yeah. weird and it's, curved. It's a Devonian self-destruct button that ended the <laughs> time period. Um, I think it's just, I think it's uh, from the water. That, you know, basically, that makes that. Aww. So Grant has found some more of these cones. Yeah, that really is cool. Huh. Is it like a cephalopod? Maybe. Can I take a... Huh. It, it could either be a cephalopod or that might be a primitive fish tooth. Wow. That, that could be... That could be uh, could possibly be a fish tooth. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll put that one somewhere safe to make sure it doesn't break. Okay. So I just split and my hand for scale. I just split and pulled out this whole big rock. And it, oops, it's got so much stuff on it. Kind of tempting to throw the whole thing in my car, even though it's heavy. So might just end up doing that because I always take home too many rocks. <laughs> and now I got something that I don't know what it is. I'm going to assume it's some kind of gastropod, but maybe possibly a cephalopod. It's really kind of weird. Possibly even a plura from a trilobite. Really hard to tell. Well, that's it for site number one, so we're heading off to site number two. Site number two, expecting it to be even better. It's known for having a lot of trilobites, so we're going to be going there next. As we travel, let me tell you a little bit about the geology of the area. We are driving through what's called the Hamilton Group. The Hamilton Group includes the Moscow, Ludlow, Panther Mountain formations, and a few others that are a lot of shales and mudstones that contain a really good representation of the Middle Devonian. That's why we've been finding a lot of Middle Devonian species at the first site, and that's why we'll probably be finding a lot more at the next site. Here's what the region looks like, and you can see it's kind of patchwork. You see a lot of the Moscow Formation and the Ludlow Formation, a little bit of the others popping up here and there in this general region. And so I'm expecting that what we're, the fossils that we're finding are going to be of probably Ludlow, maybe Moscow Formation origin. But we will see what we find. With a little bit of luck, we all might find some oh, Eldridge Ops, the most common, some less common Green Ops, and maybe some Deplora. It's a beautiful autumn day. Let's see what we find in central New York. So this is our first New York Paleontological Society field trip of the fall, and it's being led by Patrick. This is your, I believe it's your first time, right, as a field trip leader? It is. It, it is, is my first time, Chris. Yes, it's a pleasure, actually. It's great to get everybody out and seeing uh, all the formations and fossils and stuff out here. Um, noted for quite a bit. I actually grew up in upstate New York, so ah. um, I'm 
fairly familiar. I am not a paleontologist, but I am a, a hobbyist, a collector, like most of the members here. So, well, thank you, thank you so much for doing this for us. Not a problem, not a problem at all. Thank you. Have you ever been to this site? I've been here a couple times, um, actually, um, but not as much as I have in the Lower Devonian sites where I grew up, and uh, especially the one we just came from, uh, Gear Road. So. Um, same formation, um, same fossils, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Site number two is going to be more Devonian rock. In fact, it might even actually be the same formation. I'm not sure. It looks like a lot of work has been done on this site since the last time the Paleo Society was here, maybe a year ago. See a lot of loose rock. I don't know if this has been done by other collectors or somebody who just needed fill. Kind of looks like it was done by just someone who needed fill, so there might be some nice loose stuff in here. But anyway, we are here to go ahead and find some more fossils. And it's a really beautiful place. In this case, it's private property, but the owner is allowing us here. Oh, I was gonna say, so ladies and gents, I just found a nice cephalopod. This, oh yeah, we found some last year. This site is really good for surface collecting as well. You go know, breaking up rocks is great too, but this was just lying on the ground. And last year, I think four people found trilobites just lying on the ground here. So, uh, look at all these brachiopod Oh, that is ah, an that awesome like trial bike. I think the uh, flora decayi. I think uh, our anonymous person can I say your name or not? Go for it. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, Mike is going to have the find of the day, unless we do better. And we're in the first like five minutes, so maybe we will. But and there is a fake um, green ops tail right next to it. So that is an awesome, awesome find. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing us that. No problem. Yes, this is a great place. It's I could just finish this up. Yeah. It, would you like to be in the video? No. No, okay. Oh uh, my gosh. Heavy eyes. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you so much mm, for showing us that. It. So my friends, at this time I'd like to take a moment to ask you to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. There's still time to be one of my first 1,000 subscribers. And if you like fossil hunting, please go ahead and give us a like. That really helps out the channel. Thank you very much, and back to the fossil hunting and collecting. Enjoy. Beverly okay. found a nice little green ops, pygidium or tail. All right. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. So this place is also very good for surface collecting. Right away, I started breaking stuff with a hammer and realized, hmm, I haven't did what I just said I was going to do. So over here, surface collecting now, I just found this nice set of bivalves, nice articulated pair. Articulated means they naturally go together when they're alive. And we'll see if we find anything else in this place. I'll bring you in if we find another one. So talk about surface collected. Look at this. Here's the see the trilobite. Oh yeah. And here's the other half of it over here in the rock. Wow. Oh look at that. What's that? That's a, a, a prehistoric razor clam, uh, so a, a type of bivalve. I found that. I've also found this when I was walking. That's kind of nice too. Okay, you want to take a look at the trilobite? Yeah, I uh, just don't want to crush my child, do I? <laughs> Here it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. Trilobite looks like might have a little bit of a crinoid here too. Oh, yeah. And there's the matching half. And also found that nice articulated bivalve there too. Yes, it's a uh, ortho. Oh, I can't remember the name. Ortho something. Um, is it right for you in the video? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a ortho something. I don't okay. remember the name, but it's very familiar to a razor clam. So, okay. so if you take a look, at it has kind of kind of like a razor clam. It would be about that right. long, and we're just seeing a little bit of a ridge section of it left. Get out. All right. Hold it. Say your name. Jude. Oh, Jude. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. That, that frog oh. is bad. Bad. There we go. 
I'm gonna release this frog. Whoa! Oh. Come on, get out oh. of here. It's dangerous for you over well, here. That little one wants to, he wants to go, so we'll let it go. Yeah. And Jude has found a nice, I think it's a gastropod. I could be wrong, but very nice. Thank you for showing that. You're welcome. Looks like Greg has an enrolled trilobite. That's probably what it is. My, the other thing it could be is a curved cephalopod. That's another possibility. But uh, if you maybe break the rock on this side, you can make it smaller, and you get a piece that you can actually work on. Got it. I got help with that. Ah, uh, that might be, I think it's a gastropod, a little snail. Oh, thank you for your, what, what first name? Alex. Alex, thank you very much for showing us that. Of course. Karen? Okay, so Karen has found a trilobite. We have the negative there. We have the uh, mold on the inside. And there's a good possibility that thing could be rolled up in that. So it's a probably 50-50 chance. Okay, thank you. Thank you for showing us that. Another little frog. Just jumped out of the puddle. So I'm assuming it's a frog rather than a toad. But there it is. Are you going to jump again? Guess not. A-O-D-E-N. Okay, so Alden has found a really nice um, uh, bivalve, really nice bivalve. But that's not all. That's not all. Oh, okay. Hello, Whitehead. Oh, I think that's probably a gastropod. Oh. Very oh. So it looks like Jude has a fish scale. That is a really good find. If it is a fish scale, I think it is. It seems to have the right shape. No, it's not a trilobite eye? No, I don't think it's a trilobite. Okay. That'd be like the holy trilobite eye. <laughs> um, my guess is, is it's a fish scale, as best as I can see it through these glasses. With that, you might, I don't know, do you have access to a tile, tile saw? Um, oh, oh, tile saw. Oh, if you have a bug on your back. Oh, oh with a bug? I, I'm not on the first name. So I found a little cephalopod. Oh, so that's what those are. That's a cephalopod, yep. All right, so now Rick has found trees. We have, yes, I'm not joking, these are trees. They're probably uh, trees that were living on land and fell into the water, but we have all these bits and pieces that do show up in this um, middle Devonian rock. Thank you, thank you so much for showing us that. And that fame, I guess. So Rich has found, also found, a mucospurfer, and not only did he find a really big one, if you don't mind, please flip, it is fully articulated. It is awesome. Yeah, it's a little bit right. caved in on the back, and that's what happens. The rock actually gets bent yeah. over time, over deep time, so that's, that's kind of natural. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it's a, a really well-preserved mucospurfer, the one with the very wide ends. Thank you. Thank you oh, so much for oh, showing us that. So now Jude has found a cephalopod, and next to it, I believe we have the head of a tiny Deplora trilobite. Thank you. Thank you for showing. Yes. Mike has found a trilobite. Another one. And now he has a nice matching pair because he found what I think is an Eldridge Ops last time. Now he has a complete, partly rolled, but complete. Green ops, you can tell the green ops by that very distinctive head. So, very nice, very nice green ops. Alright, so this wraps up a wonderful day of fossil collecting. I'm just loving the scenery up here as well. 
this video is starting to run long, so I'm going to show you the prepping of just one, the best one that I got, the trilobite. So stand by and we'll take a look at how my best find of the day came out. A really nice trilobite. I probably <laughs> I should have showed you that I uh, went ahead and put a screwdriver in to split the gap and now we pretty much got it it's actually covered with mud but clean it up we have the trilobite we have this unusual thing and now I'm seeing I don't know if you can see this or not but there's also a crinoid nice crinoid in here too so this and brachiopods down here it's a very nice active piece I don't think I'm going to try cutting it now, at least until I clean it up a bit, but pretty much got everything I was trying to get. Here is that really incredible piece. Very nice trilobite. Looks like it's fully articulated. I think the face is going to be underneath there. Just had to drill it out a little bit. Have a nice crinoid going across this as well. Can you see that? This really mysterious thing looks kind of like a mollusk, but I'm not really sure what it is at this time. I have to figure out what that is. And even a little cephalopod over here. So just a very busy little plate with a great trilobite on it. Probably my personal best find of that particular day. So that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching to the end. And if you like this, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell me what you thought about it in the comments. Thank you again, and happy fossil hunting and collecting.